What's going on? It's time to talk about another, well, this one's like a Z movie. This is a shot on video micro budget film called Roman. Uh, it was released by Otter Entertainment, Auteur Entertainment, uh, September 26, 2006, starring Nectar Rose, Lucky McKee, and Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell, not Kristen Bell. Bale. No, it's Kristen Bell. Uh, it was produced by Jonathan Cerati and St uh, Sarah Copeland. It's written by Lucky McKee and directed by uh, Angela Bettis, who actually went on to do like the 2002 Carrie TV movie, which is amusing. She's also done like May. I'm going to talk about that one in the future. Uh, 12 hour shift, the woman, few others. This had a budget of $250,000 and I have no idea where it went to. Probably just to pay all the actors. Because this film is Z grade quality. Um, so, it's this weird love triangle story. So, Roman is a weird guy. He's like one of those guys who uh, is quiet, nerdy, and doesn't re isn't really very social and stuff like that. He's uh, quite introverted and basically, so he works at a factory and he's very shy and quiet. They have like these weird, awkward conversations on their lunch breaks and stuff with the co-workers. And when he goes home, he just basically sits at home and stares out the window. He doesn't have a TV or anything. He just drinks a couple beers and stuff. And then he meets his like neighbor and he falls in love with her. And he has this really big like as is like fixated on her and is in love with her and accidentally kills her and so he has his dead um corpse in the bathroom and then he, there's this other weird chick that sort of catches his eye and he uh goes and ch she wants him but he's not really sure and tries to hide it and lo and behold spoiler alert he's going insane and People start catching on to where the, his neighbor went and, uh, yeah, what had happened. So, overall, Roman is quite the boring movie. <laughs> There's a lot of pointless stuff in it. This is like a 20-minute short, probably, that they expanded to an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a pointless love triangle that was a pretty big waste of time. Um... Like, the first half was pretty well put together. And, like, for the second... First... Like, after, like, he kills the first girl... The girl... You know, um... He doesn't know what to do with this. So, she's in her body. And then he has, like, cuts her hand off. And buries half of her. And keeps that as a trophy. And, uh... Kisses it and stuff. And, uh... Yeah. It's very odd and weird. But... I think this film was trying to explore more of, like, human emotions... And when they fixate on something and they can't let something go, they have to have some of it. And I think it's sort of how it has to do with that. Uh, now, the, the effects and stuff for, like, the corpse-looking hand was pretty interesting, well done, I thought. Anyways, that's, like, one pro. The acting is hit and miss. Very cheesy. Uh, very low budget. It's all, like, pretty much in, like, three locations. And, uh, yeah. But, and, like, the... Third, the second girl that comes in, she's like almost like fairy esque, and sort of like a figment of his imagination and stuff like that, which is really odd. Uh, but it's a way of coping with loss and how he's how he's dealing with what he has done and stuff. Which is it's an okay movie that way, but it's just so boring and slow. Like, oh, it felt like two and a half hours instead of an hour and 20 minutes and uh it was just pointless at the end like it was pr super predictable by the end and uh not much really went on so i can't really recommend this it's pretty pretty boring and dull most of it's just him sitting in a room contemplating what to do and fantasizing about things and getting frustrated with himself so with that i'm giving roman a one out of five it's pretty dull, boring, and a waste of time, which is probably one of the worst things a film can do. So, yeah. But if it sounds like it might be up your alley, like if you're into psychological thrillers and this might be something you're into, there's a trailer link down below like always. So 
check that out if you want to see what I'm talking about. And uh, also make sure you follow me on Instagram because I always post clips of films, good or bad, <laughs> of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. Now I usually have the film title and the subgenre of films in the ha in the hashtags in the video clip so you're aware of it and you can find them and stuff. Anyways, so make sure you follow me there to stay in the loop. Comment your opinions of this film down below. Uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it. Also, if you have any films, whether it be movies, high-budget films, any films at all, and you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below, too. I'll try my script to Mr. Canada if I can find them. Um, yeah, so, and also, make sure you subscribe, because um, hopefully you can find something better than this film. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully I, help you, I can help you find something interesting that you never thought of watching and also I like just putting out my thoughts on popular movies every now and then so yeah make sure you subscribe and I guess I'll see you all in the next one so watch out for those creepy dudes fixating on you like that's this could happen to you girls sorry <laughs> so the next one cheers